Okay, so welcome to chapter 19, Miut Shena, Minimizing Sleep in the 48 Ways to Wisdom of Noah Weinberg's uh, Sefer. So this chapter is very interesting. Uh, it can give us a lot of motivation. It's about minimizing the amount that we sleep. Um, you know, I, I heard once, there's a big, there, I heard recently there's a big movement uh, waking up very early. Uh, it's like a, um, a very motivational speaker that's famous, I think, in America. Um, someone here was telling me about him that he's emphasized this movement of waking up at five in the morning. It's like the 5 a.m. club. I think he wrote a book about it because he realized he looked at um, the CEOs of many, many successful people, different, different companies, you know, and, and he found that people were very different. Some people went to college, some did not. Some uh, were good at this, some were good at that. You know, there were a lot of very, very variations in what made people uh, successful. But the common denominator was that people, all of these successful people would wake up very early in the morning. So waking up early is something that really allows us to seize the day, make the most of the day. And it's not easy. It is one of the most tricky things when you're just exhausted, the bed is so comfortable, and you just do not want to get up um, and you know hit that snooze button. So, but it is a very important skill that we need to work on, like any skill, it takes practice. Um, so, you know, we learn also the big tzaddikim, uh, most of the, the big rabbanim of our time sleep very little, the gedolim, gedoleado, sleep maybe two hours per night, and uh, uh, other than that, they're, they're immersed in uh, Torah and in, in in taking advantage of life, you know, this beautiful life that we live, not... Uh, sleeping it away. Um, so excessive sleep can be a form of escape that uh, we know sometimes in depression, people that are depressed will sleep a lot to try to just escape what's going on in, in life. So um, some people have the opposite problem. They're depressed and they can't sleep at all. Uh, but but sleep, oversleeping is something that uh, can, can often you know come along with, with depression. So if we feel like we're um, oversleeping under pressure, we need to we need to try to work on that. Try to work on our um, getting ourselves in a better state of mind, so that we can we can sleep better. Um, now, if you look at how kids get up in the morning, you know, once they're up, they're up. You know, it's not uh, up and then back to sleep. It's you know, a kid, it's a little kid, like a toddler. They're up. They're ready to go. Um, and they're excited. They're not, uh, you know, trying to stay in bed. Uh, so life is too precious to waste. Now the question is how much sleep do we need? We should try to actively answer this question because we're all different uh, depending on a job. If a person works a very physical job, they might need a little bit more sleep because uh, the, their job is very physically demanding. Um, Different people just might, they might get migraine headaches with very little sleep, but um, paying attention to how much sleep we need is, is important in that um, you should kind of try to figure out like, okay, with six hours of sleep, I function pretty well. Uh, with four hours of sleep, I don't function well. With five, somewhere in the middle. You know, we should keep track of this and, and be aware of it. You know, some people might need eight hours of sleep. The Rambam even recommended eight hours of sleep for a person. Others might be fine with six, others less. So we really need to be attuned to how much we sleep we need. And then what it's saying here is we should try to work on ourselves to limit that amount a little bit. Maybe try to, um, you can try things that help you maybe get a better sleep so that you need less, you're in a deeper sleep and can get away with sleeping less time. Um, or we can just be more excited about getting up in the morning. Things try, try different things to just kind of work on it. Maybe even a little bit less sleep, so that we can we can go out and do do other things. Um, so the Vilna Gon would sleep for four 30 minute intervals a day. So it totaled two hours of sleep per day. Um, this is not easy, but the idea is power naps can help us. Uh, you know, take. Uh, I remember when I was in yeshiva. I, I would kind of sometimes try to stay up late and, you know, 
you go to the Vatican Minion and then you try to get a power nap during the, the middle of the day. So sometimes, you know, if you can figure, if you have time for it, if you're able to, uh, maybe you can squeeze in a power nap. Uh, it's recommending here, maybe like a 10, 15 minute power nap, you know, not, not half an hour, not, not uh, an hour, you know, 10, 15 minutes. If you can find a way to just kind of doze off for a little bit, maybe with an alarm clock, it can refresh you a bit. Um, you can also, um, you know, find ways to make your bed less comfortable. You can, uh, you know, um, if you're trying to stay up late at night, you know, for something important, um, you can do some physical activity. You know, I remember when, when you're trying to stay up for uh, uh, Leil Shavuot, um, you know, I was I was felt like I was about to doze off. So I would just learn uh, standing up and walking and, uh, you know, get my body moving a little bit, helps you uh, stay energized. And uh, so, yeah, in the morning, you know, wake up, try to immediately make yourself a little less comfortable, take the blankets off, maybe stand on the cold floor and just get yourself ready to, to go. Um, and just the last idea here is talking about also when you have an insight, when you have a hidush, when something comes to you, you know, something great, you should capture it, not just let it pass. You really need to, to, um, to, to be alert and capture something that, uh, you know, is important. And, and basically it's saying here, it gives an example. Let's say you were driving and you're feeling very tired and you start to doze off. And then you, you wake up and you see you're drifting off the road. You know, when, when you have that realization that, whoa, that was really dangerous, you know, chances are you're, you're not going to make that mistake again. You're either going to stop driving, pull over, go to sleep, or you're going to really find ways to make yourself stay awake. You know, you slap yourself on the foot, drink some water, whatever it is, you're going to do what you have to do to make yourself stay awake. awake. Um, so same thing when we come across a, an idea in life that, that we want to hold on to, you know, we shouldn't just sleep through it. We need to take advantage of uh, moments of brilliance that, that come to our minds and just act on it. Um, so just to summarize, don't be like a teenager who, use, who keeps going back to sleep. You know, try to be like a kid, wakes up, ready to go. Sleep smart. Um, know how many hours you need to function properly. Try to get a better sleep. That might even involve going to sleep earlier. Uh, making some things more comfortable in the room, um, you know, not not looking at phones before going to sleep. They say that can have a negative uh, impact on on sleeping. So trying to sleep smarter and figuring out how much time you really need to to function well, and then try to cut down that time. <clears throat> um, let's see, when you have to stay up later, uh, um, stay awake. You can get exercise. Um, you can try to be more inspired. Uh, if we're excited and inspired, you know, it's hard to sleep if when, you're, when you know you have something big the next day and you're all excited. So we can try to get that from more um, everything in life, you know. Uh, take power naps when needed uh, to, to refresh ourselves. And when we have a moment of inspiration, we need to act on it. Don't sleep through it. So that's a little bit about sleep. Uh, we should... Um, we should work on this skill that uh, if we can get up in the morning like a lion, like it says a, a Jew should, um, we can live a very successful life and uh, start the day off on a great, great note. So uh, we'll be back next time for number 20, Miut Sicha, uh, the art of conversation. Thanks a lot.